Hey everybody, welcome back to Singularity of the Day. Today we have an interesting question. Take a look, when I suppress my boss extrude 2 feature, the pattern also suppresses as well, right? And that's expected um, because we can take a look at parent-child relations to see that the parents of linear pattern 1 are boss extrude 2 and boss extrude 1. No children here, but this tells me that if, hey, if you suppress any of the parents, this feature is going to suppress as well. But here's the question. If I unsuppress boss extrude 2, why doesn't the linear pattern unsuppress as well? Well, we've actually only told SolidWorks to unsuppress boss extrude 2, but there's a nice feature here. Select the feature that you want to unsuppress, and taking a look at our parent-child relationships again, we can see that, okay, the children are linear pattern 1. I want to unsuppress that at the same time. Now, I could, of course, go in and select multiple items and unsuppress them, but what if there are multiple dependents? This could be quite time-consuming. So, with the feature selected, go to Edit, and then Unsuppress with Dependents. Choose this configuration. Of course, if you have multiple configurations, that's supported as well. And very easily, I'm able to get not only my Boss Extrude 2 feature unsuppressed, but also its dependents, the children in the relationships. So I don't have to spend time unsuppressing those children features. Again, utilizing Edit, Unsuppress with Dependents saves a lot of time. Um, working with your features, getting them in the proper suppressed and unsuppressed states. So hopefully this helps understand a little bit more how we can suppress and unsuppress features, save a lot of time inside SOLIDWORKS, and of course, have a great day.